Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. And once you've uploaded the required documents, your account will be activated within 24 hours. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls to help you with trading. And you can also learn robo trading software for free. Now let's look at average directional index indicator, also known as the ADX indicator. Now, what is the ADX indicator? The ADX indicator or the average directional index indicator simply measures the strength of a trend and whether the price is in a trading or non-trading price movement. So this ADX indicator was developed by J. Wells Wilder and it's a widely popular indicator for measuring the strength of a trend. Now, let's see how this indicator was constructed. So the positive and the negative directional movement forms the backbone of the directional movement system. So Wells Wilder determined that the directional movement by comparing the difference between two consecutive lows with the difference between their respective highs. The plus directional indicator, also known as plus DI, and the minus directional indicator, which is also known as minus DI, are derived from smoothed averages of these differences and measure the trend direction over time. These two indicators are often referred to collectively as the directional movement indicator. The average directional index or the ADX is in turn derived from the smoothed averages of the difference between the plus DI and the minus DI and it measures the strength of the trend either uptrend or the downtrend regardless of the direction. Now let's look at an important concepts of the ADX. First is the volatility and volume. The ADX is a valuable tool because it focuses on the trend and the strength of the stocks. However, extremely volatile stocks will not always adhere to the ADX readings. Stocks that react favorably to the ADX should have high volume but not very high volatility. Next is the divergence. Unlike other indicators, divergence in ADX does not predict a change in the trend. As long as the value stays above 20, the trend is intact. Next, let's look at trading using this trend. If the price is going up and the ADX indicator is also going up and its value is above 20 and the plus DI is greater than the minus DI, it is a buy signal. If the price is going down and the ADX indicator is going up and it is above 20, and the minus di is greater than the plus di then this is a sell signal now let's look at the components first is the plus directional movement index the di plus then there's the minus directional movement index the di minus and the adx line so and now let's look at the adx strength scale and how we can see the adx value and get an idea about it the ADX value, which is which when it ranges from 0 to 20, it means that the trend strength is non-trending and it is a range bound market of phase of accumulation or distribution. When the ADX value is ranging from 20 to 45, the trend strength is strong trend. This indicates the start of a trend towards a very strong trend, which is helpful for the trend based traders. When the ADX value is 45 to 60, it's a very strong trend, although this is very rare and they do occur sometimes and indicate exhaustion. When the ADX value is 60 to 100, it's an extremely strong trend and this is extremely rare. Such a trend are not sustainable and traders should be ready for a trend reversal at any moment. Now let's look at how the ADX or the average directional index indicator works. If the price is going up and the ADX indicator is also going up, then we have to have the case for a bullish trend. The same is true if the price is going down and the ADX indicator is going up, then we have the case for a bearish trend. The value of ADX below 20 is called trading zone, which implies a non-trending market. Now what is the ADX trading range? When the ADX is below 20, the price enters a sideways or a consolidation. When the ADX rises above 20, 20, the price tends to trend. A low ADX is usually a sign of accumulation or distribution. When the ADX is below 20, the price enters range conditions and the price patterns are often easier to identify. 
Price then moves up and down between resistance and support to find selling and buying interest respectively. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to create a free DMARCT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. And once you've uploaded the required documents, your account will be activated within 24 hours. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls to help you with daily trading. And you can also learn robo trading software for free.